Hello everybody, uh, this is a presentation to tell you what mistakes you should avoid while preparing for UPSC civil service examination. I am Artika Shukla, I am ranked 4 uh, in the recent examination. I am a doctor by profession and you can follow me over this link. Uh, so what are the things that you should avoid? We all know what we should do, but kya avoid karna hai? that becomes a problem especially when you come closer to the exam. So this is a very short presentation to help you deal with that. First thing, choosing a wrong optional subject. This I think is very important because you have a lot of guides, aapko log aate jaate, bahut sare suggestions deete jaate about the optional subject. But I really believe and in your self-interest, I would say that you should only choose an optional subject which you are comfortable in, which you have preferably done your graduation in, kyunki usse aapko bahut knowledge mil jaate hai and uh, something that you enjoy reading because optional is a place where you will have to give in all your effort so you should you must must choose an optional which you enjoy reading which which is something that you like and not something which is selling this year or which is getting very good marks uh, the next mistake is not checking previous year's papers now this is extremely, extremely important for prelims. I have told you about this in a lot of places. If you just follow previous year's papers and a lot of test papers, for mainly for prelims, also for mains, maybe not so relevant except in case of optionals, very relevant in case of optionals. My uh, medical science was optional. In that case, more than 50% questions were repeated in the past year. So it is a big mistake if you don't check your previous year's papers, especially for prelims where it will help in uh, your time management. Questions may not be repeated, but it will definitely boost your confidence. And in mains, questions will be repeated in optionals, at least in some optionals. So you must check previous year's papers. The third question, uh, the, the third thing that you must avoid is purchasing too many books and making a library at home. ये एक बहुत ही जनरल बात है जिसको I think हर कोई ये गलती करता है इस एग्जाम के प्रिपरेशन में but I would just like you to know that as a senior I can tell you this please don't buy more than two books on any subject please revise what you have read instead of going for more and more you know newer sources to read it from because आप जितना वो करेंगे आपका retention उतना कम होता जाएगा so please revise the static content even in case of optionals do not go for more than two or three books for any op for any one particular thing the exam is not so much about uh, depth as it is about your you know your basic understanding of stuff so please try to be very very concise and uh, you know precise about these examination uh, the next mistake that you can do is uh, Lack of constructive group study. Now, this is something which I can vouch for very theoretically. But uh, uh, group study kai baar bohat uh, garbar ho jati hai. Especially is stage mein, jab har koi alag alag cheezein pad raha hota hai. So people tend to, you know, they tend to get involved in other discussions. Aapka time bohat sara waste ho jata hai. But there are also positives of group study, which is that you can try and have a very good intellectual conversation among people you trust who are preparing for the examination. You sit with your friends, if you are preparing for GS, especially in the group, then your perspective widens and the exam wants your perspective to be widened. You can take a set mindset and you can't write answers in the exam. So there is a very well-placed need for a constructive group study. If you do find a very good intellectual, hard-working group, you are lucky. If you don't find it, nothing to worry. We are going to the next mistake. Non-interaction with seniors. Now, this is something I personally feel really benefited me because I was always in touch with my brother who is also a senior in service. So, uh, you should, if possible, be in touch with a senior who can guide you in this examination. If, if you want to stay in touch with me, you can stay in touch with me. Someone in your family, a person you trust, that is very important because the exam demands a lot of courage and resilience in addition to knowledge. और इसमें आपको सीनियर्स बहुत हेल्प कर सकते हैं, वो आपकी एंजाइटी कम कर सकते हैं, वो आपको सही डायरेक्शन में गाइड कर सकते हैं। सो दिस इज़ वन थिंग दैट यू मस्ट डू। 
the next thing is reading the complete newspaper one big problem why because the newspaper has many things which is not relevant to the examination the sports page is not relevant the local news is not relevant any tidbits any celebrity gossips those are not relevant at all so please don't waste a lot of time on reading the newspaper it is essential of course but aap aise padhein ki wo 1.5 ghante mein aapka khatam ho jaye at least at the end of your preparation shuruaat mein to bahut time lagega but try to see out the important information information which uh, corresponds with your main syllabus and work on that the next mistake non evaluation by regular tests if there is one thing i can tell you it is that please 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 give regular tests it is very important extremely essential for getting through prelims and more than extremely essential for getting through mains also both for your optional and gs gs mein to the more then 60% of your preparation lies on giving tests do not skip giving tests after prelims at least give 10 tests before prelims se agar aapne start kiya to kuch 12 15 16 tests zarur dein because the exam is about expression you can have all the knowledge in the world but if you can't express it well in the required time frame you will not score well so please if you have to do one thing if you have to invest in one thing please invest in a good test series and give tests as many as you can the last thing uh, is lack of revision lack of revision is obvious aapne revise nahi kara to aapko history geography yaad nahi rahegi aapne revise nahi kara to aapko sare bills yaad nahi rahenge aapko apna optional bhul jayega so revision is very important again instead of buying too many books getting too much knowledge about stuff revise what you have done it will help you immensely and the last thing is uses of social media during preparation ab I have a very uh, biased view over this because I didn't use the social media at all. I I stayed away from Facebook. I used WhatsApp very sparingly. But you can use it. I'm not saying you should not, but try to maintain a limit on the, you know, amount of time and the amount of emotions and a uh, brain that you invest on it. So social media if you want to use, use it for constructive purposes. Use it also as a distraction if you want to, but do not get swayed by it this time is very important it will not come again in life so please please don't waste time over frivolous issues or something flimsy over the social media over your reputation or something so that's all from my side and i hope you don't you avoid these mis- mistakes and do every right thing in the book and get through with flying colors my best wishes to all of you god bless you thank you Hello everybody I'm Artika Shukla I got rank 4 in UPSC this year a little introduction about me I am 25 years old I am a doctor by profession and uh, you can follow me on this uh, address on an academy coming to uh, my strategy in general studies we start with the books and the resources that I followed and what worked what did not work or mujhe jo bhi lagta hai I will uh, try to tell you that starting with the first topic history ancient history medieval and history modern ancient and medieval uh, what i did was i followed ncert but ye maine acche se nahi prepare kiya tha it is something that i did not like to ye uh, not did not prepare i did not prepare it very thoroughly and question bhi zyada nahi aaye se modern history of course you must prepare uh, i did bipin chandra india's struggle for independence plus spectrum specifically for prelims very important a lot of questions come from that so do that ncert modern india again relevant both for prelims and mains coming to culture i followed five different materials for culture kyunki mere paas uh, i did not have anyone guiding me that time so i did nitin singhania an academy videos very nice nios material vision is material as well as ncert on art but jo exam mein question aaya wo inme se kisi mein se bhi nahi tha so i would just say that you should pick and choose the material for culture kyunki it is not a very high yielding thing so any one thing or two uh, you know two sources you can follow i would suggest an academy and nitin sanghania more than enough polity theory and current lakshmi kant for theory and for current of course uh, daily newspaper reading supplemented by solving test papers of any one or two decent test series i did vision and insights they are more than enough for you know um, making you uh, सारा जो भी करंट अफेयर हो रहा होगा यू विल गेट टू नो इट फ्रॉम हेयर इकोनॉमी आई डिड श्रीराम्स बुकलेट एन सी आर टी ऑफ इकोनॉमी फॉर लर्निंग सम बेसिक टॉपिक्स एंड इकोनॉमिक सर्वे वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इकोनॉमिक सर्वे यू मस्ट रीड 
then we come to science theory and current something i left mujhe laga i knew the basics if you don't know the basics go for ncrt's 8th se 10th tak ki maybe environment theory and current i did uh, shankar ayas very important book along with solved a complete test paper on environment and that was enough you just have to learn the few lists and stuff so ye this book is more than enough for it coming to geography physical i did class 11th ncrt that blue book um, along with videos on brunal okay so this is all that i did for uh, physical geography questions bhi inhi mein se aate hain so that is more than enough indian geography 11th and 12th i think there is this socio and economic geography there is uh, physical geography of india to wo jitni bhi do teen kitabein that you can do for indian geography world geography i i did not prepare this thing really well so what i did was end mein jaake i just saw some videos on this site of munal and i prepared some maps based on current affairs middle east thoda sa thoda europe that was all that i did uh, if you want you can go for any coaching material or something else that you find relevant mere hisab se itta was more than enough other national international current affairs i saw test papers as i said before i read the hindu daily and if there was something that i did not understand i skirted through gk today or prs or any other relevant uh, you know i used to google uh, anything that i did not understand in the newspaper and that is more than enough for prelims uh, preparation schemes policy same as above coming to prelim csat uh, i did not uh, prepare it specifically many last 4 saal ke papers kiye upsc ke that was more than enough now that csat is qualifying this is all that you should do too in my opinion agar aapko koi specific problem hai you can of course uh, you know read up more on that but otherwise this is enough for getting that qualifying marks uh, my accuracy was i got 60 uh, correct from 80 in gs and 77 in aptitude coming to mains uh, essay preparation current affairs around the year i followed i did not prepare essay specifically i just read a few quotes ek din pehle exam ke and that is more than enough you know uh, if you want if you think you are weak in writing then you should practice essays of course coming to general studies mains paper 1 culture again i followed five different things finally in the exam question came from none of them so please pick and choose agar aapke paas time hai you can follow any two things any one thing even otherwise this is not a very high yielding topic indian history again bipin chandra world history i did vision material and ncrts you can do either one of them even one of them is sufficient post independence india i had done both these books but they are not required they are more like novels so what i would suggest is ki aap kisi bhi coaching note se ye chhota sa topic kar le upsc has not been asking questions about it so don't waste time on it indian society role of women globalization communalism regionalism and secularism these are very very dynamic topics so i would say ki koi special targeted material ya book padhne ki zarurat nahi hai follow hindu follow the newspaper that you are reading vision current material is very good for following these topics you can go for prs you can go for gk today an academy anything that you follow online dynamic content along with inside secure articles are also very relevant in these things along with it yojana can cover this topic very well to itta agar aapne kar liya that is more than enough for this in my opinion uh resource distribution i did vision and vajiram ka material because i could not find this in any standard textbook but ab mujhe lagta hai ki that is not required और काफ़ी बेसिक क्वेश्चंस आते हैं विच कैन बी कवर्ड बाय टेंथ एंड इलेवेंथ एन सी आर टीज अर्थक्विक सुनामी आई डिड ए आर सी फॉर डिजास्टर कवर्ड इट देयर अलॉन्ग विद विजन मटेरियल इज प्रीटी गुड फॉर दिस थिंग अदरवाइज ए आर सी इज मोर देन इनफ दिस टॉपिक आई लेफ्ट पेपर टू इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कंपेयरिंग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पार्लियामेंट एग्जीक्यूटिव मिनिस्ट्रीज एवरी थिंग वॉट यू शुड डू इज लक्ष्मीकांत यू कैन रेफर फॉर बेसिक्स राइट एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ इट इज ऑल डायनेमिक सो आई वुड से read the newspaper daily make your own notes you can complement it with some current affair uh, i did it with vision current affairs which was very good along with inside secure daily articles they they post a lot of articles you can go there and read them vision static material is also available for all these topics uh, if you want some basic knowledge about them agar aapke paas already ye knowledge hai then you can skip this along with a very dynamic study approach is required you can go to prs aap naye naye bills aur acts ke bare mein you can read on annual reports documents on various ministry websites same holds for all of this same a dynamic study newspaper secure some current affair material static material if you want along with annual reports and prs site 
same goes for this too in uh, in foreign policy and foreign uh, affairs i would just add one thing that you can skip it all together or you can just keep reading the newspaper for it and in november or october you can go and get a compilation and that is more than enough questions come mostly from that only a compilation from any you know decent uh, coaching institute ka material you can go and buy it paper 3 Paper three, uh, the first four topics: uh, Indian economy, mobilization, resource. This is vast. This includes everything that is happening in the country. Economic survey, the best booklet, the best material to prepare it, along with key features of budget. Daily newspaper reading, of course, जो daily economy में हो रहा है, along with if you want inside secure articles. For the agriculture related topics, which is e technology and everything, PDS buffer technology mission, vision static material is very good. if coupled with daily newspaper reading along with you can refer to yojana for relevant articles some specific ministry food processing ministry if it is coming up with something new you can go there along with any related chapter that you find in economic survey please go there land reforms you can follow bipin chandra three chapters of it uh, infrastructure again economic survey related disaster management arc is more than enough again most of it is dynamic science tech indian achievements i did not read specifically it gets covered in preparing current affairs internal security you can go for it's the article along with any daily the daily news along with any coaching material for reference i followed gs core for reference that was very good money laundering cyber security border management organized crime very dynamic topics you can read any one static material vision material insights material kahin bhi aap search karke ek static material padh le along with that uh, current events like sit recommendations newspaper reading steps taken some facts anything like that so a, lo a lot of dynamic study required along with gs course material i referred that for internal security thoda basics ke liye otherwise it's all newspaper ethics uh, very frankly i did not spend more than a week on ethics what i did was i bought two three test papers of vision along with model answers read them tried to understand them and framed answers that was all that i did but if you cannot understand the terms mentioned in the syllabus you can read the book on ethics by lexicon or subaru and you just need to have a balanced viewpoint illustrate your answers with examples and finish the paper on time go and bear your heart out on the sheets you'll get very good marks thank you This is my mark sheet. Thank. You. Hello everyone. I am Artika Shukla. I got rank four in UPSC CSE this year. A little introduction about me. I am a doctor by profession. I was pursuing MD in pediatrics uh, from PGI Chandigarh, but I resigned from that when I decided to go for civil services. This happened in November of two thousand fourteen. uh the reason why i came this side is because i had a passion for uh, you know a, a job which offered a lot of scope a lot of diversity in terms of work also a few personal reasons drove me this side and so i decided to take up this civil services exam uh now my tempo and style i would just say ke i started preparation from november 2014 after resigning from my md and uh, every day i used to study for 5 to 6 hours for the entire year till december 2015 that is the mains that i gave or uh, uh, a lot of uh, depression a lot of uh, hopelessness is a part of the preparation of this exam i want you to know that every topper every student goes through those phases and you need to have stuff to motivate yourself which is where uh, this thing comes in my life uh, i read bhagavad gita a lot for motivation i also read a lot of motivational quotes by authors i like by uh, personalities like steve jobs a lot of people and uh, i would say that you need such things to carry you through uh, this very arduous phase of examination preparation kyunki ye bahut hi tough exam hai and something that i really believe in is that if the ocean can calm itself so can you we are both just salt water mixed with air or agar nature has patience and focus and uh, you know if it can calm itself so can you uh, again something about me my service preferences were ias irs it and irs c and c mid segment i based on seniors advice and in the bottom of course group b and some services that i did not know anything about so that is it Uh, my state cadre preferences are agmit gujarat and rajasthan uh, even though i am a resident of varanasi up so i am an outsider for this cadre but i 
I chose it because I have been to college in Delhi and I am really in love with that city. Uh, coming here, I would uh, just say that uh, if this exam has taught me one lesson, it is this that it really takes nothing to join the crowd and it takes everything to stand alone. So if you have to exam this exam, if you are up for it, please believe in yourself. Don't be afraid to start. Don't be afraid by advice or you know anything bad that you hear from people. You will go to your And this exam is an exam of courage, patience and confidence over knowledge or hard work. I truly believe this. More than hard work, you need to be courageous to take the right decisions. You need to be patient to be studying the entire year. And of course, you need to be confident in your own personality, in your own passion for the job that you are going to apply for. And you must be happy with the decision and the path that you have taken up. Uh, if there is a message that I want to convey to aspirants, it is just that. Always remember, sometimes it takes an overwhelming breakdown to have an undeniable breakthrough. Aapke saath kuch bura ho raha ho, learn from that experience, let it gut you, let it open you, let it teach you anything that it can. Don't be afraid of bad experiences. And only when you have gone through something as bad as a breakdown can you have a wonderful breakthrough one day. Trust me on this. Trust yourself, trust your journey and give it all you got. Another very important thing that I want to admit and confess is that this exam is a lot about luck. So you may get lucky and sail through like I did or you may not. But in this process, you will definitely learn some hard truths about yourself and about your life and it will be worth it in the end. So this is your one little precious life. Do live it well. Thank you and my best wishes to all of you. Hello everyone, this is Artika Shukla. I got the fourth rank in the CSE exam of 2015 and I'm here to give you some quick tips about the prelims which are quickly approaching. Uh, as you all know, I got fourth rank in the latest uh, CSE 2015 exam. I am a doctor by training. I did my MBBS from Maulan Azad Medical College. You can follow me on this address here and you can contribute if you want to. Also, you can also watch detailed courses on an academy for the entire UPSC CSE preparation. Moving on, uh, some very important tips that I think every aspirant should keep in mind in these few weeks before the prelims exam. Five important tips. First, be very thorough with the basics of the core subjects. And by core subjects, I mean uh, history, economy, geography, and uh, uh, culture, sciences. So you should be very thorough with the basics of these subjects. Aapko inki basic understanding achhi honi chahiye. In fact, you should also make short, concise notes of the factual component jo aap exam ke ek hafte pehle revise kar sakte hain. This will help you and uh, it will also make you more confident before the exam. Second, Current affairs is one big headache for prelims. So a very brief and working knowledge of current affairs is required. Aap rose ka newspaper padhe. Just, uh, you know, uh, memorize the facts that you think you'll forget. Keep in touch with the broad and basic understanding of the current affairs that is happening. Bohut deep mein jane ki zarurat nahi hai, mere hisaab se. I think a very smart and brief study is required rather than a detailed preparation of current affairs for prelims. Number three, no need to get very bothered for the CSAT section of the paper too since now it's qualifying. Ab aapko sirf kuch 66 ke around marks chahiye hote hain isme. So I will say do not go for these special classes. Do not spend a lot of time preparing for it. Very basic simple maths and English is asked which you will be able to answer. Agar aapko fir bhi thodi problem lag rahi hai. So you can solve last four years CSAT papers and that is more than enough. You're done for the day. Next, the most important advice that I can give you is that you should solve as many test papers as you can in these few days. Solving test papers from different coaching institutes will help you, you know, gain new knowledge. It will help you revise what you've already learned. Or you will very confident because, you know, you will feel that your paper will be good once you have solved some 30-35 test papers. So you learn time management, you learn how to control negative marking and you will revise all the stuff that you have already learned. So this is the most important advice. Solve as many test papers as you can in the next 10 or so days. Next, do not be over concerned with the issue of negative marking. Aap zada dimag mein bitha ke, mere hisaap se, you should not go ki, mujhe itne hi question attempt karne. 
गो टू द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल सी द पेपर एंड जज इट देन इन देयर अपनी प्रिपरेशन के हिसाब से गो फॉर इट मेक इंटेलिजेंट गैसेज डू नॉट डू ब्लाइंड गैसिंग बट डू नॉट बी ओवर कंसर्न विद द इशू ऑफ नेगेटिव मार्किंग सो दीज व क्विक फाइव फोर और फाइव थिंग्स दैट आई विश टू टेल ऑल ऑफ यू आई होप दिस हेल्प्स यू एंड मूविंग ऑन योर टाइम हैज़ नाउ कम सो वर्क हार्ड एंड बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ डू नॉट गेट टू इन्फ्लुएंस बाई वॉट अदर्स से दूसरे ने कितना अटैम्प्ट किया कितना राइट स्कोर है कितने घंटे पढ़ रहा है डू नॉट बी इन्फ्लुएंस बाई ऑल दिस योर एफर्ट योर अप्रोच योर माइंड इज़ यूनिक यू हैव योर ओन यूनिक परस्पेक्टिव सो बी कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ योर स्ट्रेंथ्स आई वुड जस्ट एंड दिस लेसन विथ वन कोट दैट आई रियली लाइक ऑलवेज रिमेंबर लाइफ बैटल्स डोंट ऑलवेज गो टू द स्ट्रॉगर और फास्टर मैन बट सूनर और लेटर द मैन हु विन्स इज द वन हु थिंक्स ही कैन थैंक यू एंड आई विश ऑल ऑफ यू लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ गुड लक थैंक यू हेलो एवरीबडी दिस इज आर्तिका शुक्ला आई गॉट रैंक फोर इन यू पी एस सी सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जाम दिस ईयर एंड आई एम हेयर टू टॉक अबाउट माई इंटरव्यू Uh, a little introduction i got rank 4 i am a doctor by profession i did my mbbs from maulana azad in delhi and uh, you can follow me on unacademy at this address um uh, before the interview uh, my interview was in the second week of the uh, of the interview process so i did not have much time so i just scanned the newspapers for about a month before the interview i put on google alerts for medicine because this was my optional and also for ayush which is something in medicine and mci because this was in news for some time i also joined vajiram and sankalp uh, mock interview sessions and gave two interviews at both of these coaching centers uh, during the interview i got uh, the board of shri vinay mittal it lasted about 30 to 35 minutes uh, i was uh, not asked why i chose this field up, i mean after medicine but if this question had been raised i would have said that the uh, increased scope and diversity of the civil services as well as the increased impact that it has on common citizens of the country is one reason why i chose it but this was not asked to me in my interview uh, the first question that was asked was that uh, so you are from varanasi i am i am basically from varanasi which is the pm's constituency so how has it changed since the 2014 general election now this was something that i had prepared really well because i am a resident of varanasi so i started about uh, the cleaning of river ganga because this is the uh, one of the very main programs of our prime minister and the ghats initiatives like e boat shav vahini several others i had mentioned there they have really transformed the faces of the ghats also the swachh bharat abhiyan uh, which has uh, lent a greater impetus to cleaning of the city in varanasi it has helped bring dust bins on the road which was not there earlier so benefiting the common citizen and as increase the cleanliness drive across the city the question uh, specifically asked to me was that as a common citizen what do you think so which is why i gave such a general answer to it and they seemed satisfied second question was uh, uh, lots of technical questions jo mujhse puche gaye was on my uh, profession and my uh, optional subject which is medical science so i was asked about spurious drugs about mci regulations need to regulate medical ethics why the quality of doctors is going down opinion regarding neat exam etc so i answered them reasonably well because i had prepared them in detail and this is something that you expect being a doctor or take having taken medical science as an optional another question that i remember was that uh, they asked my opinion regarding reduction of age in the juvenile justice bill this was in news that time so i cannot really remember clearly but i was told to take a stand whether or not uh, the age should be reduced or 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 something else should be done so i had said and this was a very honest answer that i gave that uh, justice should be reformative rather than retributive and instead of punishing that one juvenile who has committed a crime we should instead and leaving him to rot in an adult jail we should instead try to rehabilitate and reform the system of remand homes the juvenile care facilities the reasons why juveniles are being driven to such crimes that needs more focus in my opinion also that it goes against the rights of child the un convention that india has signed our own domestic definition of childhood and even the definition given by psychologists who, who say that uh, complete mental maturity is reached even after the age of 25 so this is something that i uh, went and said there and they seemed satisfied the another question that i remember was that the most recent step taken by the government in the area of women empowerment 
इसमें उसी टाइम पे एक एक वो आया था नोटिफिकेशन विच सेड दैट फीमेल फाइटर पायलट्स हैड बीन अलाउड इन द इंडियन एयरफोर्स सो दिस इज व्हाट आई सेड इन दैट केस ऑल्सो आई वाज आस्ट विच अदर कंट्रीज ऑलरेडी हैव फीमेल फाइटर पायलट्स आई डिड नॉट नो द आंसर एट ऑल द आंसर हैड सम फोर और फाइव डिफरेंट कंट्रीज मुझे नहीं पता था आई वॉज टोल द आंसर बाई द चेयरमैन आई वॉज ऑल्सो आज अबाउट माई फेवरेट ऑथर एंड नॉवल इन ब्रीफ क्योंकि ये मेरा हॉबी में लिखा हुआ था दैट आई लाइक रीडिंग नॉवल्स Uh, yes, my interview was mostly on expected lines of what I had prepared. It was not a stress interview. I did get nervous जब मैंने medical science के कुछ questions pass किए but uh, the board tried to make me comfortable. Everybody was smiling, nobody shouted or did anything to scare me. All in all, a very cordial and cool experience, and uh, no, no other technicalities are needed. Thank you. I hope this helps.